Hey everyone, Mike Katz here with Seven Points Capital. Happy Friday. Hopefully everybody had a nice trading day, good trading week. And we have the spies today. We gap down, Turkey news, the president and the Turkish president are going at it. And that's causing some volatility, which is very welcome to be. It's been a while since we had some good volatility. We'll see if this turns into anything more. But the market gapped down. Moved around, had about a $2 range on the SPY's intraday, and that was, that was decent. So um, let's see, what did I trade today? We had a few names. Overstock had earnings. Overstock had earnings. It gaps up pretty strong. Let's look at, I mean, this thing was as high as, up, as 90 back in the craze with the Bitcoin. And I'm not going to get into too much detail, but, I did some reading on their T0 and um, and the product that's discussed here in the earnings. And it just doesn't, it didn't look like there was a whole lot going on. So to me, it just looked like the investment that they got from the Chinese firm, great, but it doesn't mean anything for the firm. As a matter of fact, in the earnings, they said that they might sell off their retail division over stock. So, if that leaves them with just that that uh, division, then I don't think they, they got a whole lot going on. But I'll let you guys dig through that and get your own opinion on that. So when I came in today, I was thinking overstock, I have a certain way I'd like to trade it. If it starts to fade off, I want to be in it. And that's exactly what happened. I kind of let it do its thing on the open. And then I shorted the breakdown, got out of half, reshorted some back, reshorted some more. And then it just went sideways. A lot of sideways between 45 and 46. For a while there, it looked like it was going to curl up. So let's see if we can uh, we can zoom in here. Uh, that's not going to work. So what I'm really trying to get at here is show you guys chart line study, trend line. So it looked like it was holding well and could potentially curl up, but when it couldn't do that, it gave me a lot more conviction with what I was looking to do. So let's see if we can zoom into just that spot. So it looked to me like, you know, you can get really creative with these trend lines, but it looked like 46 for a second here was gonna curl up because you had these higher lows here, here, there, and there. And it was gonna try to break through 46. It couldn't really do it. And I'm thinking everybody who's trying to get long for a push back up is gonna be underwater if we get lower. So we go back to our trusty volume profile. And you can see that a lot traded here in that range. It's like a nice little bell curve here where, where you know a lot of shares change hands. So whichever way it goes from here, you know that there's gonna be an imbalance, right? So in this sideways action, there's equilibrium. And every time he tries to come down, yeah, let's look at this one. Every time it came down, right here, once, twice, three times, four times, five, six times, it came down to 45 and held. So that means that there's support. There are buyers, not enough sellers down here. Eventually, what ends up happening is it gets overpowered. The, the uh, buyers get overpowered and it goes lower and it goes below 45. And now we know that the sellers are in control it could very easily, you know, do one of these moves where it breaks down and then boom, right back up and does the shakeout move. Very possible. But if it's not one of those moves, when it comes back to retest 45, that should be a spot where it gets resistance, where everybody who's long and stuck from this consolidation is now going to be a ceiling and is going to have shares offered out and create supply. And that should get a quick rejection. And that's what we got here. So we got this nice unwind for the second half of the day. And this ended up being my best symbol on the day. 
really nice trade both in I put it on in in day account and in my swing account and I got pretty big and it worked so well that it worked pretty quickly my was, my target was 40 ended up going to 4160 that I even closed out my swing thinking the risk reward doesn't make sense anymore if we do get a pop Monday into 44 there could be another trade in there but for now I'm flat in this and I'll mention this spot here which I think is important so one of the newer guys Jason recently passed the test started trading and he's sitting next to me and we're in the symbol together and he's short same way as I am but you know as a new trader you can be very um, a little bit scared and, and you're concerned with moves and you're not you're not likely to give retracements a chance so I think as we progress through our learning curve and through our trading career traders realize that you got to give trades some space and not be afraid of retracements within a larger trend so this move down here ended up being a good move a breakdown and I know that he was his his process was I want to cover some down here at 4450 and he didn't probably because I'm saying this thing's gonna take a take a dump it's going lower so he, he probably got his process got affected by what I was saying so he didn't cover down here he ended up covering up here and when I saw that I said Jason what are you doing he said I know I screwed up it's probably not a good cover I didn't get the price I wanted earlier and I kind of panicked out over here and I explained to him I said you know this is not a good spot to be doing any buy-in because this is right below resistance right below that consolidation so I he was kind of upset that um, like down here we were already down here was pretty upset about his cover so I ended up um, taking his his uh, cover and putting it in my account and that's why there's a blue arrow here and this small buy that he made but it's just the fact that he realized what he did wrong and now I think that this trade is going to get cemented in in the back of his head and he's not going to be doing this anymore buying right into resistance so I think that's a huge benefit when you're sitting alongside a, a trader that can tell you look what you did here doesn't really make sense you, know, you might want to try to do this another way so I took the small buy I put it in my account and um, he ended up making good money on the short side on, on the drop and so that's why there's a nice little blue arrow here and I know that I would not want to be doing any buying right there as a matter of fact I shorted I shorted a lot more right at that same spot as whenever he was covering so just uh, just a way to look at it many different ways to to trade but don't buy right below resistance that's usually a good spot to to do some selling all right let's move on real quick overstock was good AWX had some good action uh, ramped up early strong we know that this is a, a garbage stock very toxic but it's also a very small float so it's very easy to get caught up in these so in the morning I got hurt in this a little bit because I would try to pick a top in it and in a way because you can see here my first entry I wasn't really picking a top as it was coming down I was getting in but I got stopped out of that starter and then again I, you know I tried it again here got stopped out tried it again got stopped out and then eventually when I tried it again and it, I didn't get stopped out I ended up getting a lot bigger here um, right there add 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 and then it ended up going lower from there so this was really nice name and consolidated really well sideways yep so sideways a lot of sideways and then as it came up into resistance I'd put some some more on here versus this area and then when it looked like it was failing here I put some more on and some more on and then like 10 minutes before the close I turned on my view up buy I'll go to cover and get me out of my my position 
and because I was focused on a couple other things. So this was uh, these are my covers going into the close. I definitely don't want to swing this 660,000 share float. No thanks. But this is probably going back to two three dollars, right? Um, AWX was good, and the nice part was we had a pretty nice size borrow today. And what else? I traded some Qs. The Qs were good. Market felt heavy. Qs for a while was weaker than the spiders. And we had this nice little wedge going on here. And it ended up breaking down. And I did well there also. So Qs shorted some. There we go. So I shorted some here, right below resistance. Got in some nice covers, added back. Little cover here, cover down there, added back. You can see me trading around the core. And then here I stopped out of everything when we reclaimed here. This level, I got out. Ended up also being a very nice trade on the queues. And that's it, a lot of guys, tra oh, I traded some Tesla, I didn't do that well in Tesla. I just have not been trading Tesla well at all recently. So, um, but I didn't force it too much here. So here I thought this could be resuming trend to the downside. And I shorted, added some more versus this area. And then when it cleared it, I got out, went much higher and then just chopped around some more. So I. This might be an avoid for me going forward. It's just every headline, every tweet, every mention with the SEC gets this thing moving with not a whole lot of trend. So I'm going to probably avoid this one for a bit going forward. And that's pretty much it. Um, really nice day, really nice week on the desk, wrapping it up. And I want everybody to uh, hopefully enjoy the weekend, get some rest, and looking forward to, to next week. A few names going to be on our radar and should be some good action. So thanks for watching. This is Mike Katz. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a follow. I will uh, tweet out this new trader that joined. She'll be a great follow, Sarah. I'll, uh, I'll uh, mention her in a tweet. I recommend following her. She's going to be doing some videos as well, and uh, she'll be adding some content on Twitter too. So thank you guys for watching again. Mike Katz, 7 Points Capital. Thank you.